सो सत्यकाल नमस्ते एंड हेलो टू एवरी वन हाउ ओल्ड आर यू जेवी थर्टीन ईयर ओल्ड क्या आपका नाम आर्यन से कूल डूड बन जाएगा अल्टीमेट गोल इज टू यूज टेक्नोलॉजी टू सॉल्व ह्यूमन प्रॉब्लम आपके केस में क्या है कि प्रोजेक्ट इज डेफिनेटली डेवलप ही हैज टू कंबाइन द हार्डवेयर एंड द सॉफ्टवेयर द इन्वेंटर चैलेंज प्राइस गोस टू The Inventor Challenge, a Colors Infinity original, went looking for ordinary people with extraordinary ideas. We bring four inventors in every episode to Mumbai to present their ideas to our esteemed panel. The panel will then decide which two are the best and send them to our labs so they can build them out. The finished products will then be judged by everyday people. जो अपना verdict देंगे कि कौन सा invention deserve करता है. 10 lakh rupees I'm your host Ahana Kumra and this is the Inventor Challenge Innovation has touched our lives in so many ways. पहले जो सिर्फ एक फैशन स्टेटमेंट हुआ करता था अब वो एक यूटिलिटी बन सकता है जैसे isn't it crazy कि 5-6 साल पहले लोग अपनी घड़ी को सिर्फ घड़ी की तरह यूज करते थे अब तो मैं फोन पे टाइम देख सकती हूं वॉच पे मैसेजेस पढ़ सकती हूं इन टुडेज एपिसोड वी विल बी लुकिंग एट सम मोर इन्वेंशंस व्हिच यू कैन वेयर But before I get to these inventions, let me introduce you to our panel. My name is Dhruv Madhok, and I'm the director and co-founder of Arata, a plant-based personal care brand. I'm also Dhruv. I'm also the co-founder of Arata, uh, and I'm also the director. Hi, I'm Sarovar Zaidi, and I'm a social anthropologist who teaches in the School of Art and Architecture. Hi, I'm Malini Agarwal. I'm the founder of Miss Malini Entertainment and co-founder of Good Creator Co. Coming up is Javier Kochar. He doesn't look stressed or anxious. Maybe because his invention might have a solution. Let's see what he has in store for us. Hi, Javier. Hi. How old are you, Javi? I'm 13 years old. Wow. Years old. Amazing. That's it. And are you the coolest kid in class? Uh, I'll leave that up to the class to decide. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We may not know that, but you're definitely the coolest kid on this set. Thanks a lot. So please go ahead. Stage is yours. This is your moment. Go for okay. it. Okay. It was just another day at my robotics class when me and my friend Drew were discussing about our lives. We then started discussing about his exams which were coming up. and we started discussing about how stressed he was as we discussed this further we realized that during the lockdown we weren't the only people who were stressed and by knowing that you have stress and anxiety you've already solved half the problem as being robotic students we should make an invention that solves this problem so we got started and that was how our project breathe free was born breathe free uses our chest and belly expansion and breathing direct correlation to stress and anxiety to further scale it We have two boxes in this device. One is a 2 inch by 3 inch box, and the second 0.5 inch by 2 inch box. These go around your chest and belly respectively, and they each have straps. Using a force sensitive resistor, we measure how much these straps are being pulled, and then determine how many deep breaths, shallow breaths, and so on you have. Then we use a Python code, data processing, and using an FPDF library, we create a PDF report. that tells you about your deep breaths shallow breaths and also your stress levels wow amazing i love that the story starts with one day in robotics class that's amazing and so your device it doesn't actually reduce stress it it simply tells you when you are getting stressed out yeah. or you're consistently getting stressed over a period of time yeah. so that you can start making changes in your lifestyle correct got it so i have two points over here One is a thought and one is a question. My thought is is that I think it's absolutely amazing that you're looking at a topic like mental health. Uh, my question is is this something that will be permanently kept on as a belt on your chest and stomach? And if so then what would be the practicality of that if you are experiencing medium to long term issues with anxiety and stress? So uh, our project is aim to be given to the consumer through doctors and therapists who help you deal with this stress and this could be used as a tool to measure it for them so you don't necessarily need to wear it 24/7 but the longer you wear it the more accurate your results and you don't need to wear it for the rest of your life just as long as your therapist feels 
or your doctor feels that he needs to check your stress levels. It's quite cool because it's quite a nice preventive to a lot of things. We're always tackling things the other way. So what would be your next focus point? What would you do if you get to the lab stage? If I get to the lab stage, I have two main objectives. One is um, a redesign of the outer box of our prototype, make it more sleek. We are also working on making a machine learning code that will make it more accurate. How will you translate the measure of emotion to coding, to machines, etc.? Because that's a whole different people will have different thresholds of that. So how will you kind of figure that out? The current prototype, we have like a short calibration period, hmm. but um, since we intend to make it be used more long term, for one day we would calibrate our code so to measure like your highest points of breath and your lowest so that we come to know exactly how much is a deep breath and how much is a normal breath for you. Awesome. Thank Fantastic. you. That was a really great presentation. Great job. You stressed me out so much stress. You must respirate. <laughs> All I was doing at 13 was daydreaming. And the only belt that I knew was either a karate belt or like a belt around my waist. Yeah, you must keep belting out such amazing ideas. Hena? Oh yeah. I Thank like Madhu's one-liners. Let's go backstage and let's listen to what the other inventors Great have work. to say. Great Thank work. you. Aaj kar ke bache, literally, it's yeah. just mind bending that he's yeah. thought of something where they, they one they're aware of the concept of anxiety and stress absolutely and that in the robotics class solving for it when i was a bachcha and when people were talking about aajkal ke bachche they were definitely saying bad things. things and now they're saying amazing things and no what is amazing is that he has this uh, uncanny ability to just completely step into what i would call new age india yeah and how he's just thinking about things which will take us to the future Having said that, I do believe he's only the first we've seen today. Yes. There are three more to come. Let's see if he makes it to labs. Let's see it. Let's have the next one, please. Next Ari hai Kavya, who's probably her granddad's favorite grandchild. I'll let you guess why. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. So Kavya, where are you from? I'm from New Bombay, actually, Navi Mumbai. And what's your dream? What do you want to be when you grow up? My ultimate goal is to use technology to try to solve human problems. So all the issues that we face, I want to try to find solutions for that. So the floor is yours. Let's hear what you're working on. So around a year ago, uh, there was an incident that took place, which is why I'm standing here in front of you today. Uh, my grandfather had come to visit us. Um, and one night, there was a lot of commotion. And when I woke up, I found he had fainted in the bathroom and he got hurt and there, there was blood from his forehead. So I started speaking to my mom about this as well to try to get what she thinks about it. She's a doctor. That's when she told me my grandfather has this condition known as postural hypotension. So under this condition, any time a person gets up off the bed, your blood pressure drops. And because of that, you may faint or, um, you know, you may fall down or you may feel dizzy. So when I got to know about this, that's when I started um, thinking or brainstorming of what I can do. That's when I came up with a device. It's called a Jagran Kavach. So this device basically works in two ways. It has two methods of trying to protect you. Uh, one is that anytime you get up off the bed, you'll be wearing a loose compression belt. Anytime you get up off the bed, the pillows will sense that you've gotten up. So I will have pressure sensors attached to the bottom of my pillows. And anytime they sense a pressure drop, automatically a compression belt, the compression belt, you know, air gets filled in and it tightens. It serves the same purpose as the normal compression belt that exists in the market currently. This is different from the one that currently exists because when you're sleeping, when you go to sleep, it's loose and it's comfortable. You don't have any discomfort, but only when you're getting up is when it tightens and and then it serves its purpose. The other way I'm trying to combat or, or to work around this problem is having an alarm or a buzzer ringing so that, that can play maybe an automated message that says, please get up slowly, please wait for a few minutes. So this way the patient is alert that, okay, yes, I have to be slow, I have to be careful. And the people around, like in my case, my grandmom is also able to understand that he's getting up and so she has to be a little careful. These were the two ways that I hope I can completely combat this um, problem and I can provide a permanent solution for my grandfather. I think it's so commendable. Wow, I think you also, uh, you're so eloquent and you explained it so beautifully. So Thanks. this is a, a sensor activated compression belt. Yes, yes. And how do you prevent it from misfiring? For example, when your grandfather turns Turns around sleep. in the bed, absolutely. 
So uh, to prevent this, we're attaching two pressure sensors or two sensors under the pillow. Got it. So even if I turn from one side to another, I'm still going to have pressure on one side. Got it. And so my it won't trigger the response. Okay. Does it need to be in the pillow? It can't be in the belt itself, the, the fact that you've changed your position. The thing is, if you sleep on your uh, side ah, or you on, your, on your stomach, then, um, you know, it may go may off yeah. and it may be a false alarm. That's why I thought pillow will be the best because your head is always on the pillow when you usually sleep. And so it reduces the scope of having a false alarm. Would the compression belt affect things like the pressure on a full bladder? You know, what are the other kind of side things that it will affect? Um, that's actually a great question. And that's one of the things that I need to work on uh, as to how much, as I said, how much the belt should actually compress. Because if you have a full bladder, then you might not need to compress too much. Even a little bit will be enough. Um, and other than that, I'm also going to try to work on a button in case it's getting too tight, despite all the safeties that we've gone through. We'll have a button so you can immediately release the air and you can... Um, like an emergency button. Emergency yeah. button, absolutely. So well done, Kavya. And good luck if you make it through to the lab stage, then you're off to the races and hopefully... Fingers you're crossed. That's, that's the goal. We're proud. excited for you. Thank you. Great pitch. Thank and you. Really nice. What did you guys think? It's amazing, right? You did an amazing job. You compressed job. the whole story very well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So whether the other innovations are going to be as impressive as hers, we're we'll going find to out. find out. Thanks Have so much. Thank you. Bye. Wow, they just get more and more impressive. It's incredible. Yeah. Oh, this episode is a real cracker. Can't wait to see it who's is. next. Our next inventor is a cool dude. Aryan, who wants to redefine what it is to have a cool jacket. You know what I mean? Watch. Hello everyone. My name is Aryan Gupta. I'm 17 years old. Aryan, tell us about your invention. Uh, actually, first of all, I'm going to tell you a small story about my invention. I thought about how I thought about it. I thought about my uncle हमेशा गांव से शहर की ओर ट्रैवल किया करता था तो मैंने गर्मी के दिनों में नोटिस किया जो कार वाले हैं वो एसी चलाते हैं और उस गर्मी से राहत पा लेते हैं लेकिन जो टू व्हीलर वाले हैं उनके पास ऐसी कोई सुविधा नहीं होती तो मैंने सोचा कि क्यों ना इस प्रॉब्लम को दूर किया जाए तो फिर उसके बाद सबसे पहले मैंने एक स्लीवलेस जैकेट का डिजाइन बनाया जिसमें मैं पाइप लगाकर और उसमें कूल एयर को सर्कुलेट कर रहा था जब मैंने इसका वर्किंग प्रोटोटाइप बनाया और जब मैंने इसे पहना तो ठंडी तो लग रही थी लेकिन मुझे लगा कि नहीं ये बॉडी का जो स्किन है उसको हार्म पहुंचा सकता है तो फिर मैंने इस पे काम करना बंद कर दिया था कुछ दिनों बाद जैसे क्लास में मैं पढ़ रहा था तो मेरे जो साइंस के टीचर है उन्होंने क्वेल्टियर डिवाइस के बारे में बताया अगर इसमें हम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी को पास करें तो इसका जो एक प्लेट है वो ठंडा हो जाता है और दूसरा प्लेट गर्म हो जाता है तो जब पढ़ा ही रहते हो तो मेरे दिमाग में ये चीज़ आया कि क्यों ना ऐसा किया जाए जो प्लेट ठंडी हो रही है उसे हम ठंडा हवा बनाने के लिए यूज़ करें तो जब क्लास खत्म हुई ये सारी मेरे दिमाग में हलचल हो रही थी कि क्या ऐसा कुछ हो सकता है तो मैंने सर से जाके क्लास के बाद बात की तो सर बोले कि हाँ ऐसा तो पॉसिबल है तो फिर मैंने इसका डिजाइन बनाना स्टार्ट किया सबसे पहले मैंने पेल्टियर का वीडियो देखा उसके बाद जब मैंने पेल्टियर मंगवाई और मैंने सबसे पहले इसका डिजाइन बनाया जो प्लेट ठंडा हो रहा था उस पर मैंने एक हीट सिंक लगाया उसके सरफेस एरिया को बढ़ाने के लिए और दूसरे साइड जो गर्म हो रहा था तो हम जानते हैं कि कोई भी चीज़ गर्म होती है तो वो ख़राब हो जाती है तो इसलिए मैंने उस पर वाटर एल्यूमिनियम ब्लॉक लगा के और उस गर्मी को निकाल दिया और फिर जब इसका एक फाइनल वर्किंग प्रोटोटाइप बन गया और फिर जब मैंने इसे चलाकर देखा 12 वोट की बैटरी से तो ये इससे जो इसमें जो फैन लगाया था मैंने उससे ठंडी हवा आ रही थी तो फिर मुझे बहुत ज़्यादा खुशी मिली कि जो मैंने सोचा था वो अच्छे से काम कर रहा है इसका जो वर्किंग एक प्रोटोटाइप बनाया है वो एक सिंपल प्रोटोटाइप है बट इसका एक फाइनल प्रोडक्ट बनाने के लिए मुझे बहुत सारे रिसोर्सेस लैब की जरूरत पड़ेगी वेरी नाइस और ये आपने जो सोचा है ये एक जैकेट है जो सब के साइज को फिट करता है या ये मशीन है जो कोई भी जैकेट में फिट हो सकती है नहीं इसका एक अलग से मैंने एक कैबिनेट बॉक्स बनाया है तो ये जो एक कैबिनेट बॉक्स में रहेगा वो बाइक के पीछे लगेगा और उससे एक पाइप निकलेगा जो एक 
कि मैंने विंड चीटर का यूज किया है और उससे जाके पीछे कनेक्ट हो जाएगा और उसपे कूल एयर प्रोवाइड करेगा और आप बता सकते हैं इसमें टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस कितना पड़ेगा जैसे की मैंने चला कर देखा था फोर्टी डिग्री उस टाइम टेम्परेचर हो रहा था और वो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री तक आ गया था तो फोर्टी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री से ट्वेंटी फाइव पे आ गया हाँ हाँ जी और ये किसी को बीमार तो नहीं कर देगा कि बाहर इतनी गर्मी है और फिर भी जैकेट इतना ठंडा है नहीं ऐसा तो अभी मैंने इसको ज्यादा यूज करके देखा नहीं है तो वही चाहता हूँ कि ये आगे कैसे काम करे इसको एक बेहतर प्रोडक्ट बनाना चाहता हूँ एडजस्ट हो सकता है टेम्परेचर हाँ ये चीज हो सकता है अगर हम इस पे अच्छे से काम करें तो स्टोरेज स्पेस हो जाएगी कंप्रेसर वगैरह के लिए बाइक्स में अलग अलग तरह की बाइक्स हैं हमारे देश में हाँ जो तो टेंशन एक है। कैबिनेट बॉक्स रहेगा छोटा सा हाँ। वो बाइक के पीछे कहीं पे लग जाएगा और जो बाइक की जो बैटरी होती है उससे हम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी उसको देंगे और ये कितने टाइम तक चल सकता है मतलब इसमें बैटरी डलेगा या कॉन्स्टेंटली चार्ज होता रहेगा मोशन के नहीं एक्चुअली मैंने ये मोटरसाइकिलिस्ट के लिए डिजाइन किया है तो जो मोटरसाइकिल में जो बैटरी होती है उसी को यूज वो तो कंटिन्यूसली चार्ज होते रहेगी और फिर उससे हम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इसको दे सकते हैं। इट। और इसमें कोई डेंजर नहीं है राइडर के लिए कोई हार्मफुल इफेक्ट्स नहीं है नहीं अभी तक तो फिलहाल नहीं है और इसको इसको बनाने में खर्चा कितना आएगा मेरे को जो कॉस्ट आई थी बनाने में वो फाइव थाउजेंड की आई थी आई थिंक इट्स क्वाइट अमेजिंग क्यूँकी आगे जाके ये क्वाइट फ्यूचर ऑफ फैशन भी है हाँ। क्योंकि काफी लोग जैसे टेम्परेचर बढ़ता जाएगा विद ग्लोबल वार्मिंग हमें ऐसी चीजें चाहिए कि जो हम एक छोटा कंप्रेसर अटैच करके चल भी सकते हैं या एग्जैक्टली तो अगर आप लैब फेज में चले गए तो क्या आपका नाम आर्यन से कूल डूड बन जाएगा मे बी ओके अमेजिंग आर्यन थैंक यू सो मच आपका आइडिया बहुत अच्छा लगा एंड थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच मौका देने के लिए थैंक यू सच अ ग्रेट मोमेंट फॉर मी ये मेरे लिए बहुत ही अच्छी उपलब्धि है कि यहाँ तक आना बहुत बड़ी बात है क्योंकि जहाँ पे मैं रहता हूँ वो एक बहुत पिछड़ा जगह है वो एक ऐसा गांव है जहाँ चारों ओर जंगल नदी और बीच में मेरा गांव है तो वो बहुत पिछड़ा जगह है वहाँ से किसी लड़के का यहाँ तक आना बहुत बड़ी बात है और जैसे ही ये आपके लिए बहुत बड़ी बात है जहाँ से आप आए हो इस मंच तक आना आप सोचो कि आपके पार्टिसिपेशन से और कितने लोग मोटिवेट को मोटिवेट होंगे इंस्पायर होंगे और उनको भी मौका मिलेगा इस मंच पे आने का तो यू शुड बी वेरी प्राउड ऑफ यूर सेल आप एक छोटे कस्बे से आए हैं और आप यहाँ पर आकर इस मंच पर अपनी आपने पूरी प्रेजेंटेशन की है और आपने एक जैकेट का मतलब एक इनोवेशन किया है जो मुझे लगता है बहुत बहुत उमदा आइडिया है थैंक यू सो मच वी है Waiting to present their idea. We're so waiting. let's go back so and let's excited. see what they are. Come. Great work. Okay, that was very Thank cool. Thank you so much, Aryan. Best of luck. Good job, Aryan. You know, I worked in Jharkhand for like six years, and it's a really different landscape. And he's just thinking about this idea of innovation and invention, and he's from a public school education system, which is fantastic. And I think uh, the I the desire to invent yes. something. to solve something that he has got irritated about right which and he was also 17 the, the teens are killing it in this episode yeah. one more to go folks in this episode are you yes, ready yes let's end with let's a bang ab jo inventor aa rahi hain wo prove kar rahi hain ki ye nayi generation self centered bilkul nahi hai at 17 sifat has come up with an idea to help those with autism stay safe Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. And tell us a little bit about yourself. So, Sashrikal, Namaste, and hello to everyone. I'm Sifat Sayal, and I'm 17 years old. I'm from New Delhi. I'm just a young, uh, like regular teenager who wants to change one life at a time. So, the floor is yours. Let's hear what you're working on. My my device is one that uh, that I've made for autistic children. When autistic children are triggered, they're very uh, sensitive to external stimuli, and anything can trigger them. So once the meltdown has taken place, it becomes very difficult for the caretaker to manage the child. If we can prevent or like predict when the meltdown is going to happen or when the child is triggered, so that we can intervene at an earlier stage and maybe help the child and the caretaker so that they go through much less stress. So I've made a device that you can that can be worn on the uh, wrist. So every time your pulse rate or your heart rate uh, reaches above a threshold value, the caretaker gets an alert on the uh, on their phone saying that the child has been triggered. They can intervene and comfort the child so that there's much less chances of it becoming a bigger issue than it is. So if I've understood correctly, essentially what you're looking to invent uh, is a 
smart watch specifically customized for children with special needs. Yes. Uh, there are so many um, smart watches that already have uh -huh. pulse readers and heartbeat uh, Yeah, so like readers. it's already very common in the market. But I want to make one that is compact and much more comfortable for people. And especially because this is for children. So I want it to be much more comfortable. Have you spent uh, any time around children with special needs or with autism Yes, yourself? I've spoken like there were two kids in my class who gone through. So I've seen like their caretakers come with them to school and like whenever they're triggered, they just like sometimes they shout, sometimes it's really difficult for the caretaker to predict it because you can't mm. really like know when a child has been triggered because they're really, really sensitive to the external environment. Have you spent time with caregivers of children with special needs? I've spoken to three care okay. uh, caregivers. So my family knows two people who have children who are autistic. So I've spoken to them and they've also realized the need for something like this. And what is it that you're expecting from the lab phase if you do go into it? So right now, I've built a circuit, like for the watch, but I need the components to be much lighter and much more mm -hmm. compact. Also, the other features like the pulse, uh, like the location detector and sweat detector, they're already available in the market, but to integrate them into the prototype is a task that I would want to do in the lab. Yeah, great. Thank you. That was really well done. All the very best. It's so fantastic to Beyond see uh, so many youngsters dealing yeah. with uh, you know, such, yeah, like you said, empathetic issues. Uh, it's really wonderful. Thank you. I completely second that thought. I yeah. think this generation is so aware and so confident and just wanting to work on the betterment of the society, which I think none of us are even aware of that. So I think that's great, Sifa. There are so you. many great options. I'm going to have to sif it through all I of them. Sif it? Yeah. I was waiting for that. <laughs> I was just waiting for that. Now let's say who makes it to the lab. Come let's on, get to all work. The Thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much. Bye. I do see a benefit. Again, I think it all comes down to execution, right? It'll be more than just a smartwatch, right? It'll be a very specific smartwatch for a yeah. very specific use case. And I love that, again, for her, she's solving for something that's so out of the realm of her own experience. I yeah. love that, actually. Yeah. And, uh, but I, also, I like the cooling jacket idea also. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, a very great. different kind of preventive. But the compression belt for the elderly, I think that there's great potential there. She's obviously put in some thought with her mother as a doctor has a use case for it. Three of them have a lot of preventive focus. You know, in yes. fact, I thought Javier uh, and uh, Sifat could combine forces. Yeah, yeah. All our inventors are done pitching their ideas, but only two can go forward. Time is coming, the panel has a very tough decision to take. Who do they deserve to go to the labs? Jana. It is absolutely incredible that the four of you are here at such a young age at the Adventure Challenge. And of course, two people are going to go on to the next level, which is the lab stage. So I'm not going to go in any particular order, but the first name is going to be someone who is going to have a very exciting summer vacation. Javier, congratulations. You have Thank made you it so much. to the lab round. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm definitely very excited for the lab stage. The idea for the invention is something which has got a lot of applicability. It's very interesting. It solves a problem uh, faced by many, many riders across the country. And uh, the next person going through is Aryan for his idea for the cooling jacket. Congratulations. I was going to say, and Kavya and Sifat, please don't stop Absolutely. on your journey. Yeah. Keep inventing, keep at it. Because invention and research is endless. High fives, all around, all around. Ooh. <laughs> Kavya and Sifat's journey on the Inventor Challenge ends here. But Javir and Aryan are now one step closer to winning the cash prize of 10 lakh rupees and then paying a heavy amount of tax on it. As they head to our labs, Omotech in Mumbai and MIT Institute of Design in Pune to take their inventions from idea to reality. They'll be working with the best possible tools, from expert equipment to even more expert mentors who are an authority in the field of inventing. Why buy things when you can make them? Hi, I'm Vibhav Chabra. I love to make things. A lot of things. Chizu. I graduated as a mechanical engineer and a photographer out of Boston University, Emma. Post that, I started working for a startup called iNetra out of MIT Media Labs, where I found my passion for making things. Bro. That's when I moved back to India and started Maker's Asylum. Driver. 
Screwdriver. How are you? Let's talk about your project. My project is a three-component summer cooling jacket. The cooling compartment, second connecting pipe and third jacket. The cooling compartment I used to use Peltier. I used to use Peltier with a heat sink. I used to use a blower fan. The blower fan will connect with the pipe and the pipe will connect with the jacket. The cold air will go inside the jacket. Okay, there are two things. The air molecules are very close. So, it's the most time to get cold air. In your case, what is it? The surface area of the belt is so much place to get cold air. Now, you can think about two things. How do you do this area? How do you do this area? The other thing is, if your jacket is cold, it's better that if everything is inside your jacket, जैकेट के अंदर आ जाए और जैकेट को सिर्फ आपने बैटरी से कनेक्ट कर दिया। मैंने एक्चुअली ऐसा डिजाइन सोचा था कि एक जैकेट है, एक बेल्ट हो जाए और बेल्ट के नीचे वो कंपार्टमेंट आ जाए और उससे जो फैन है वो डायरेक्टली जैकेट से कनेक्ट हो। उससे ये होगा कि जो एयर है वो ज़्यादा देरी तक ट्रेवल जो भी मेरा प्रोटोटाइप था वो बहुत ही बड़ा हो रहा था तो उन्होंने बोला कि आप इसे छोटा कर सकते हो इसे पोर्टेबल बना सकते हो तो सबसे पहले मैंने अपने प्रोटोटाइप का कैट डिजाइन किया I'm Anupama Gowda. I'm the founder of Workbench Projects, a makerspace, fab lab, and a public laboratory based out of Bangalore. While we speak of technology making our life easier, arts is what makes us human. And I'm interested in the intersection of technology with the arts. Today, I stay invested in STEAM education for government school children in Karnataka. Hello, Jay. Hello. Welcome to Omutech. Thank you. What's your thinking about the prototyping? What are the steps that you intend to take? This is a um, face-on thing of my work, so my FSR sensor would be placed here. This would press on this, and that's how the pressure was generated. There's like a strap going around like this. So when this strap is pulled, mm -hmm. this strap goes down and applies pressure on the sensor, and then all of my electronics are stacked over here. Let's say uh, this was my Arduino mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. So obviously my Arduinos aren't meant for high processing codes. So instead what I do is, I have a Bluetooth module here attached as well. And that same Bluetooth module goes into my computer. So right now, in my computer, all I have is a CSV file, which has all my data points. Sure. Not processed, nothing done. Hmm. But now what Python code does is, which is on my laptop, it processes all this data. Right, and what have your challenges been with the processing codes? Right now I have uh, my deep breaths, shallow breaths, mm -hmm. normal breaths, breathing rate, things like that. Mm -hmm. Now I need to take all of that data and convert it directly mm -hmm. into a stress score out of 10, out of 100, whatever it may be. It's very interesting with the same kind of data sets. Um, one of the earliest studies was about how in the neonatal cases, you know, exactly the same thing that you have been working on, particularly in babies, right? Mm -hmm. It was one of the first test cases where they looked at uh, suffocation by children when the parents have not monitored them. Uh -huh. So suffocated deaths and how those data points have actually given a lot of indication of you know how parents could watch the patterns with the respiratory, pulmonary readings, and which is very, very relevant. But now if we had to move forward, right? So you're still not at the app level, you're not getting there because you just want to refine the prototype and get all of its reading and the data sets going. Correct. The first step of my design process, we thought about basic things like how I would wear this strap, the FSR sensor, the Arduino. We made even a small 3D model to see how it would fit around a person. जब मैं अपना प्रोटोटाइप का डिजाइन बनाना स्टार्ट किया, तो मैंने कार्डबोर्ड का यूज़ किया। फिर मैंने इसके इक्विपमेंट, जैसे पेल्टियर, हीट सिंग, वाटर कूलिंग ब्लॉक, रेडिएटर, टाइमर और एक्रीलिक सीट पे काम शुरू किया। बहुत 
सारे चैलेंज भी आए जैसे मैं वाटर सर्कुलेट कर रहा था तो वो वाटर बहुत ही ज़्यादा गर्म हो जा रहा था तो फिर मैंने इसके लिए एक रेडिएटर का यूज किया ये एक पेल्टियर डिवाइस है इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पास करेंगे तो इसका एक प्लेट ठंडा दूसरा प्लेट गर्म हो जाता है तो जो प्लेट ठंडा हो रहा है उस पर मैंने हीट सिंक लगाया है उसके साथ फिर सीरिया को बढ़ाने के लिए और दूसरे साइड लगाया है एल्यूमिनियम ब्लॉक वो गर्मी को हटाने के लिए मैं इसमें पानी सर्कुलेट कर रहा हूँ जब मैं रेडिएटर से उस गर्म पानी को सर्कुलेट करूंगा तो वो गर्म पानी ठंडा हो जाएगा और इस तरह से ये सर्कुलेशन पूरे एल्यूमिनियम ब्लॉक में चलते रहेगा जिससे जो पेल्टियर का हीट है वो कंटिन्यूस निकलते रहेगा और दूसरे साइड कंटिन्यूस ठंडा होते रहेगा जिससे ठंडा एयर बनेगा और इससे एक पाइप निकलेगी जो आपके जैकेट के साथ कनेक्ट हो जाएगी जो जैकेट है वो कुछ इस टाइप का रहेगा One of the issues I faced over here many a times the 3D print would not fit with the actual electronics so I'd have to modify it and make it again. In the next phase I started with the electronics. I actually wired and soldered every part of it including the FSR sensor, the Arduino, the Bluetooth communication module and much more. The main challenge I faced here was my soldering would always come loose, and I would often have to re-solder a lot of wires in my prototype. जब मैं अपने प्रोटोटाइप के इक्विपमेंट को असेंबल कर रहा था तो बहुत चीज़ें मेरे से नहीं हो पा रही थी बहुत कॉम्प्लिकेटेड लग रही थी तो जो मेरे प्रोटोटाइप में कंपोनेंट्स लगने वाले थे जैसे पेल्टियर वाटर कूलिंग ब्लॉक हीट सिंक वाटर कंटेनर बैटरी आदि को मैंने उसमें असेंबल किया इसके बाद उसको टेस्ट करके देखना था मेरा जो प्रोटोटाइप था वो जब अच्छी तरह से काम कर रहा था तो ये देखकर मैं काफ़ी खुश हो गया While writing the code, learned about multiple different libraries, and over time I also refined this code to be more and more accurate, and um, finally convert deep and shallow breaths into an actual stress meter. All the data sets that he has collected from his immediate friends and relatives, he has to combine the hardware and the software and proceed from there. Over here, I realized that not everyone will have the same values. when they put the strap on depending on how tight or loose they put it so i added a calibration code as well as lot of error correction code just having that concept with a blower and peltier and water on the bike attached to a big battery to where he is now which is a much more streamlined small attachment that goes and hangs at the side of the motorcycle connected to his jacket so i think the project has definitely developed
first thing for an inventor is the need or the want to solve a problem. Because if you don't have that, if you don't have the drive to solve a problem, then you aren't going to find them. If you have the drive to solve a problem, problems will come to you and you'll be able to solve them. जितना मेरे को नॉलेज था और जो भी मैंने आके यहाँ पे सीखा उसमें जितना मेरे से हो सकता था मैंने अपना पूरा हंड्रेड परसेंट दिया It's now time for the consumer test where our focus group a group of hand picked individuals will test these two products on their intuitiveness and their ease of usability the one they think will add more value to their lives use wo karenge add to cart and the invention jisko zyada log chunenge wo jeetega 10 lakh rupees hi guys hi welcome to the inventor challenge so are you guys excited to be here and trying these new products I'm going to call the inventors right away so that they can take you guys through their inventions. Oh, can I do that? Yes. Yeah. Excited to meet the inventors? Definitely. Yes. All right then, inventors. Are you guys very confident about your prototypes? Yes. Yes. Do you yep. guys want to take our focus group through your uh, inventions? Yes. Are you all ready? Yes. Okay, go for it. Hello everyone. मैंने बनाया है summer cooling jacket. इसको यूज करना बहुत ही सिंपल है इसमें जो साइड में कूलिंग कंपार्टमेंट है इसके अंदर जो हनी पैड है उसे पानी से भिगो कर इसे वापस रख देना है उस बॉक्स में और पूरे इस कूलिंग कंपार्टमेंट को बंद करके बाइक की जो साइड वाली हुक होती है लगेज हुक उसमें इसको टांग देना है और इससे निकलती हुई एक कनेक्टिंग पाइप को जिसमें एक तरह का हुक दिया गया है जैसे भी आप कंफर्टेबल हो वैसे लगाकर और ऊपर से जैकेट पहन लेना है और जैकेट को पूरी तरह से जिप कर देना है जो बॉक्स के नीचे दो स्विचेस दिए गए हैं उन स्विचेस को आपको ऑन करना है स्ट्रेस एंड माई डिवाइस विल एनालाइज कलेक्ट एंड कलेक्ट योर स्ट्रेस using inspiration from yoga and breathing techniques so my device uses your breathing to find your stress you simply need to strap on the two boxes um, and buckle them up on your chest and belly and run the code and my program will do the rest after 90 seconds there will be a window popping up that will tell you your stress level and make sure to look at the numbers on the left then those will tell you your exact stress and then after that you can simply shut the window and your test is concluded can i just ask you guys to Go and wait backstage. Sure. While they go and try out your products. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. All the best. Anxiety respiratory belt मुझे relevant नहीं लगा क्योंकि जब हमने test किया so मेरा level was two and I was thinking about the worst thing and I was little bit stressed. The anxiety respiratory belt. I kind of like the concept of it. I was really fascinated because I'm someone who's also passionate about Python. So I was really like interested in the product. I tested myself. It was good. It was something which I've seen for the first time. Uh, instead of uh, having two attachments, it should be one attachment where everything is combined together. So in certain circumstances the summer cooling jacket would be pretty beneficial although it's a little tedious to sort of soak in the honeycomb uh, sponge that they had and then put it in but i guess if it does give you some breeze i guess it would help you keep you going summer cooling jacket did not much like it because it's like uh, the air and not like spreading out to, uh, through whole jacket it was like in some part it was there in some part it wasn't definitely relevant something that we need today with the kind of heat waves we've been facing so i really think it's a useful product it's now time to decide you're going to get your vote meters mm -hmm. and you guys can vote for whichever invention you liked the most and uh, which you are going to incorporate in your day to day life go ahead and you select the one that deserves to go to the next level looks like the focus group has made their decision
I'm actually very excited about these inventions. I'm really excited about the cooling jacket. I agree. And with that, why don't we bring out Javier and Aryan? Yes. Let's do All it. Right, let's do it. Hi, welcome back. Hey, Javier. Oh Hello. My God. How are you doing, Aryan? Hi, sir. So, Javier, how are you feeling? I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. And Aryan, how are you doing? Well, yes, sir. Very good. Your lab face was very good. It was very good, sir. It was a very good experience. It was a time when I was in a lot of stress. And it was a time when I made a good prototype, so I was very happy that it was a very good experience and I was very happy that I had done it. You're more of a software guy, right? Yeah. How was your experience working with hardware? So, I had a few bumps along the way. Okay. But I, I guess Anupama was there to help me. That's right. And I figured out the electronics. Okay, awesome. Can we go ahead and take yes. a, a yeah. closer look? Let's, Let's start with Aryan. Let's do it. Aryan, please, aye. Oh, now both the drooves are in. Oh, we're matching. Oh. You see, <laughs> I, know, I know you wore this on just because you wanted to match my color. <laughs> Bike be and, and and I just want to say that putting it on is actually very light, right? Um, I'm not necessarily feeling hot in it yet. But okay. I guess that's the objective yeah. as well, right? So, सबसे पहले इसमें एक हनीकॉम पैड मैंने लगाया है. उसे सबसे पहले आपको पानी में भिगोना पड़ेगा. Okay. Uh, ah, okay. So this has the honeycomb. It is cooling compartment. So this is the cooling this chamber. Is the yes. Honeycomb. And this has to be dipped in water. Yes. Are you ready to I'm cool ready. off? But see, for the first time in your life, you'll actually be cool. That's true. This may do switches, eh? You can do it with belt, eh? You can clip it. Okay. Done. You can zip it. There you go. Put it open, Tan? Put it open. Make sure the air doesn't escape. Are you ready? Has it started? It started. And can you feel a breeze? Yeah. Where I is can. it coming from? Mainly, it's coming up the front, uh, moving outwards. There's, I'm feeling ventilation. It's going under my arms, and it is feeling very comfortable. Taking mm. into account, I'm in a wind heater right now. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. So nice. Very nice. Thank you so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. I think now let's come to the second right. invention. Devir, up. Uh, you've been standing there for so long. Is it comfortable? Come on this yep. side so we come, can see. Come around. Sure. I just, I'm just going to run the I'm test. I'm seeing a few lines of code over here as well. And the test has started. It so, has. So what is it exactly testing now? Can you walk so, us through it? Yeah, so right now it's calibrating. Okay. Where um, obviously everyone will wear it at a different tightness. Mm -hmm. So it's going to like, it calibrates first. Okay. And now you can see actually the data coming through. By calibrating it, it's basically like understanding your like a regular heart rate yep. and your regular breathing pattern and then it sets it as the equilibrium and then yeah, looks for exactly. anomalies. A baseline. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty much what it does. So Got what it. are the results telling us about you now? It says you're feeling a lot more relaxed than before. Yeah. Huh. My stress is between 1 and 2. Okay. This is out of 10. So okay. around 2.5 is my so stress. you have a very low stress level. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very it's cool. cool. It's this cool. is super cool. All right. Now, somebody is supposed to keep wearing this throughout the day too. Correct. But they're not supposed to keep plugging it in. It's connected through Bluetooth. Yeah. So they basically get a report at the end of the day. Yeah. Or if Got you it. feel the symptoms coming on, you can then go and see where you're at. Correct. Okay. Perfect. Thank Fantastic. you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Congratulations. That is absolutely amazing. You know, what's really exciting is that you both are here. Your prototypes are here. Uh, a consumer group has tested these products as well. And they have also made a decision that today, who will take 10,000,000 rupees? But remember, both of you have come such a long way. So, congratulations to both of you. Let's get Ahana in here. She has the results. Come on in, Ahana. I'm really nervous, anxious, stressed. Okay. <laughs> Here are the results. I'm going to let Sarova announce this. All right. Yeah. All the best. May the best inventor win. Good luck, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Uh, Go for it, Sarova. So, the inventor challenge prize goes to... Aryan Kumar. Congratulations! Congratulations. 
मैं इस शो से एक बहुत ही बढ़िया एक्सपीरियंस लेके जाऊंगा जब मैं यहाँ पे आया था तो बिल्कुल इन चीजों को नहीं जानता था जो मैं लैब में आके जाना बहुत मशीनों को देखा बहुत अच्छे अच्छे लोगों से मिला Both of them will wear this as their badge of honor. I think आज के लिए पंस हो गए. These two everyday inventors have shown कि एक mind blowing idea कहीं से भी आ सकता है. See you next Saturday at 8 p.m. जब हम ऐसे ही चार amazing inventors को देखेंगे जो लेकर आना चाहते हैं अपना idea पूरी दुनिया तक. और इसमें उनकी help करेगा the inventor challenge, a Colors Infinity original. See you next week. of our episode today is easy living aap itne young aur active kaise rehte ek to mitti ke bartan mein main khana khata hu mujhe trekking bahut acha lagta hai wow maine duja college se graduation kiya bachpan mein bahut sare alag phir kaam kiye kaam kiya kaand kiya kaand kiya tha now he's bettering not just the hardware the software side of thing what's exciting about your product is the fact that it's so simple and that's what's really beautiful about it all right so the winner of the inventor challenge is